the sum of digits of a number n is 23 the remainder when n is divided by 11 remainder is 7 what is the remainder when n is divided by 33 okay. there are a bunch of simple ideas here two key ideas here if we know n by 11 remainder and we know n by 3 remainder then we can find out n by 33 remainder you should know this you should know that if you know a remainder for 11 and 3 you can find 33 for 5 n by 5 and n by 8 if you know the remainder you can find for n by 40 n by a and n by b you can find for n by a into b if a and b are co-prime how you can find that why it is possible to find that all of that you should know and i'm not going to go over the whole theory so this question will have a breakthrough if we find n by 3 remainder sum of the digits of a number is 23 that's a very simple question now sum of the digits is 23 is this number a multiple of 9 it's not is the number a multiple of 3 it's not the test of divisibility for 9 is very simple the number is divisible by 9 then sum of the digits should be a multiple of 9 right? there's an extension to that then the remainder if you have any number n you divide that by 9 the remainder is nothing but sum of digits of n if sum of digits of the number n is 23 then n by 9 remainder is 23 now, remainder cannot be 23 what this means is n can be written as 9k plus 23 or 9k plus 18 plus 5 or 9 times k plus 2 plus 5 a reminder when we divide this number by 9 is 5. I am going to write that down. So, this number we know this is the form where n by 11 remainder is 7, n by 9 remainder is 5. Remember, we do not need n by 9, we need only n by 3. If n divided by 9 remainder is 5, n can be written as 9p plus 5. We divide this by 3, 9p divided by 3, there is no remainder. 5 by 3 remainder is 2 or n by 9 remainder is 5 tells us that n by 3 remainder is 2. So, n by 11 remainder is 7, n by 3 remainder is 2. We need to find n by 33. How do we find that? Let's write down a few numbers that satisfy this condition, few numbers that satisfy this condition and then we will build from there n by 11 remainder of 7 the number could be 7 or 18 or 29 or 40 and so on 7 18 29 40 51 62 etc n by 3 remainder of 2 number could be 2 5 8 11 14 17 20 23 26 29 32 35, 38 and so on. Now think about this, is there any number that satisfies both of these conditions where n by 11 is 7 and n by 3 is 2? There is a number, number 29. Now I am going to anchor this entire question from 29 onwards. From 29, every 11th number will be there on this list. From 29, every third number will be there on this list. So, from 29, which number will be there on both lists? Think about it. From 29, every 11th is there on one list. Every third number is there on other list. Or from 29, every 33rd number will be on both lists. Or 29, 29 plus 33, 29 plus 66, 29 plus 99 all of these will feature on both lists or this number if this number were n n by 33 remainder would be 29 so if we know n by 11 and n by 3 we can find n by 33 remainder n by 11 if we know remainder n by 3 we know remainder n by 33 we can find the remainder how do i find that write down the sequence there will be one point where it overlaps that is your remainder when you divide by 33 Remember, you can do this only because 11 and 3 are co-prime. Otherwise, it gets slightly tricky. We can find for the LCM. Anything else will be more than one value and all of that. But co-prime, if I know n by a remainder, n by b remainder, I can find remainder for n divided by ab if a and b are co-prime. And that is not the product of the remainders. 
do something beyond that right. this question n divided by 33 what should be the remainder the remainder should be 29 two ideas that we discuss here if you know sum of the digits sum of the digits of a number nothing but the remainder when you divide the number by 9 here the remainder is 23 it cannot be 23 again divide 23 by 9 or do 2 plus 3 remainder is 5 if I know remainder n by 11 and n by 3, I can find remainder of n by 33, which is what we are doing here. 